Today we're going to talk about Spawn Alley. Another one that's way too big for the turntable. Today we got the Spawn Alley Action Playset. Another gem from 1994 that continued a run of hit toys from the newly minted hit comic book Spawn. Todd Toys, which we all know, later became McFarlane Toys, dropped one of the sickest playsets in toy history. And I'm pretty serious about this. As a grown ass man who just put this thing together, I don't remember ever having a playset this detailed with this many intricate pieces and moving parts. This thing was dead stock. I just broke it open, put this thing together for the very first time, unwrapped it. The only downside I could say about this, which has nothing to do with the toy, this thing reeks of fucking cologne. Someone must have spilled a whole bottle on this thing because every part of it from the box to the toys to the plastic wrappers, everything. My fingers even smell like cologne. Actually smells like something my grandpa used to wear and it's pretty triggering. Seriously, this ain't no Barbie playhouse. This toy is straight out of hell, literally. Designed to reflect Spawn's base of operation is feature and accessory heavy. According to the box, this toy features an exploding brick wall. There you go. An avalanche rooftop to stop intruders, which is like all that stuff. A missile firing gun. Oh. I mean, this thing is from 1994, and all right, well, you get the point. You have these track manhole covers, which flip. I'm gonna lose all these pieces. Secret car garage for the spawn mobile. You have a working crane. You have a swing here where spawn could latch onto and swing. An elevator in the back, which is. I mean, like, this whole thing is, is just pretty dope for a kid or an overgrown-ass kid like myself. This thing came with a comic book as well. You have the playset and the vehicles. All the matching comics that came with them go together as well. In 1996, McFarlane founded Todd McFarlane Entertainment, a film and animation studio in collaboration with New Line Cinema. They produced the 1997 movie Spawn. Spawn was a modest box office success, earning $54.8 million domestically and $33 million worldwide. Todd McFarlane Entertainment also produced the animated series Todd McFarlane Spawn, featuring voice work by actor Keith David as Spawn. It aired on HBO from 1997 until 1999. The animated series won a 1998 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Achievement in Animation. The Spawn Alley action playset came in this large box with detailed photos of the playset on the front and on the back. It also included all the usual Spawn and Todd Toys branding on all sides. No word on how much it cost when it was released in 1994 because again, like the Violator Monster Rig, couldn't find them when I was a kid looking for them. And yeah, in 1994, I was about 13 years old, still playing with toys. But it could be found in various conditions between 80 to 200 bucks. I got mine off of OfferUp for 50 bucks and it reeks of cologne. But I got it and it was brand new. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if I miss anything. If you have anything to add to the conversation or simply want to be like, yo, this thing is dope. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram. Peace.